What is up YouTube, it's your boy GamerZone88. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install LSPDFR and Raychuck. The first thing you need to do is go to Chrome, type this in, and you can either click on this right here, or you can just uh, click on download. It really doesn't matter. Once that's done downloading, you're going to have to go to your folder right here. Go to this PC, downloads, and you should see something like this. If you do see this on your computer, double click it and install it onto your PC. And that's pretty much it for that. Then you need to go to this website, go to mods, LSPDFR. And then click on this right here. Once that's open, all you gotta do is go to download this file. Agree. Make sure you choose alternate. So you click on download. I'm not going to uh, download it because I already have it installed onto my game. So the next step after that is to go to this website right here. Go to download and click on the latest uh, raid chug, which is this one right here. Once you have that installed, uh, the next thing you need to do is to locate your GTA. And you're not going to see two copies. You're just going to see one copy. What you need to do is to make another copy. And all you got to do is right click it. Go to copy. And paste. It'll take like maybe two minutes to um, copy it. So after you are uh, done doing that. You should see something that says GTA 5 copy. This is going to be your modded folder. This is going to be your original folder. Right. Once you're done doing that. You're going to have to create two folders onto your desktop and then you're going to have to locate uh, the LSPDFR and Raychook so you go to this PC downloads Raychook and how I did it was basically um, I just renamed it so you just right click it and go to rename and go to copy and then you go to the file go to rename and go to paste you do the same thing for LSPDFR for this one. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these two because I already got these two right here. So once you're done doing that, you're going to need to um, actually extract the file onto the folder. So all you got to do is right click Raychuck or LSPDFR. It really don't matter. Extract file. Desktop. Raychuck. OK. The same thing for LSPDFR. Extract file, desktop, LSPDFR, OK. Once you're done doing that, you need to open up the LSPDFR folder. And double click setup. Yes. OK. Next. I agree. Next. Once it get right here. If you don't see where it says copy at, that means you need to browse uh, and then go to copy and click on OK. I messed up and put it in the original one. It's OK if you did it that way. It's cool, whatever. But as long as you got two copies, you're good. But make sure you put it into the copy folder. Press OK. Click on next. I'm not going to do it because I don't want it to mess up my game. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel it. So once that's done, you're still not done yet. So all you need to do is find your GTA. Right. So like I said, this is the copy one. The one that's LSPDFR should be on. This is the original one. But like I said, I messed up. So the LSPDFR is in this one and my copy one is in this one. Right. So all you got to do is double click uh, Ray Choke. You're going to highlight all these except for this one and this one. And you're going to need to open up the folder of your Grand Theft Auto. You can either drag it onto here or you could just copy and paste it. Right. And that's it. And all you got to do is go to um, Raychook. 
right click it and click on this one yes you know let me go ahead and close this and you should see something like this so once you're in the game all you gotta do is press F5 type in force duty and if you want to force out a call all you gotta do is press X if you want to accept it all you gotta do is press Y if you don't want to accept it you ain't gotta press nothing and that's pretty much it so um, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video and I'll see you guys on the next one